know stories about sexual harassment in that workplace, yes? It's late at night, you're sitting there. What the hell is that? Uh, it's late at night, you're sitting there, the boss comes over, he's breathing alcohol and cigarette breath onto your neck and whispering, I'll give you a weekend update if you do it. All right, I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I blacked out for a minute. <laughs> Seriously, though, a lot of women are placed in uncomfortable situations, and even some guys. So uh, the point is, what is the climate? Should we? Is the only answer to ban flirting and joking in the office? No, because the guy's not going to show up for work. <laughs> I mean, why is a guy who's been married 20 years, three kids? So what do you think? You think he wants to go to the tire factory? I mean, he's there to, he wants to see the secretary with the nice tits, you know. Every, seriously. It's, it's he's right. True, everybody's but too, bleak. Everybody's too sensitive. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not here to spread good cheer, but no. He's absolutely right. Everybody is too, you can't even, like, little innocuous things are not taken as offensive and vicious. Where, like, as a male, if you see a female coworker and she has a nice uh, outfit and you go, hey, touch nice camel toe, all of a sudden you're a bad guy. Well, but see, for an example, that was inappropriate here, but, like, where is something, like, if you go to somebody at Mardi Gras, show me your tits. Everyone thinks that's okay, but if you say it's like Katie Couric on the Today Show, it's inappropriate. <laughs> so does it matter where you work for these things? Well, that's who wants my other to question. see her tits in the first place? Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now look, Chris Rock is famous for the the routine that, uh, oh, you wish he was here now doing it in Mac. Um, <laughs> Come on out, Chris. Chris. Chris Rock did the routine about sexual harassment. He said if Clarence Thomas looked like Denzel Washington, they wouldn't even call it sexual harassment because it's only ugly guys. If he was like, if he looked like Denzel, he'd go, "Hey, I put a pubic hair in your coke," and she'd be like, "Oh, Clarence, you're so nasty," and start laughing. <laughs> now, Janine, do you feel that there's a certain amount of truth to looks affecting like uh, how people feel they're treated sexually? Probably, but it goes both ways. There's both genders right. would be guilty of, of responding to that. But you know where I, if there's another level, if I, if I may introduce this to the dialogue or debate here, of, uh, this debate, uh, uh, of sexual harassment, I feel I'm being sexually harassed by HBO. I, I cannot take any more of their supposed documentaries, which are these exploited, <laughs> like last night was Cat House, G-String D Divas, <laughs> Real Sex, Documentary that they are harassing me. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that they keep foisting um, the, the sex trade upon the audience and making it look like tons right. of fun. You under, know what I mean? Like, they, like, isn't this exciting? Under the guise of being, they, uh, you know, under They're authentic. pretending it's a documentary, so I feel like I'm being sexually harassed by HBO. Yeah, well, even those hooker, the hookers at the point thing, I mean, those things, That's you know. the only one that borders on showing you how bleak a lifestyle it can That's be. what I'm saying. That's the only one I like, too. The right. other ones are... <laughs> Terrible. I agree with Janine. You guys are pigs. Now listen, um, <laughs> Janine, now, not to, you are the woman, but have you ever been sexually harassed to, no. other than by the HBO people? <laughs> oh, no, I guess we won't be seeing your special this year. Now listen. No. I like it's on HBO. the news when they always introduce it as sexual harassment. Yeah, yeah. When they call it that, because I guess harassment, I guess it's too much like her ass, so it's like, oh, so the news guy, harassment. Is that where that came from? Yeah. It has to be. I believe it. That looks like a shot. No, it wasn't a shot. I was just asking. Oh, I don't know. It looked like a shot. Well, I'm just telling you. Maybe it was a shot and I didn't know it. Okay. <laughs> but it's true. They say, if, 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 like, women say if it's an ugly guy, it's a harassment, right? If right. It's a good looking Do they? guy. Would she say the that? same thing with Well, well I know it works both. But actually, it works both ways. It does work both ways. Yeah. But who would you rather have your ass grabbed by? Cameron Diaz or Cameron Manheim? I mean, <laughs> so. But it's the same thing. I, You're right. Janine's right. It does go both ways. It's, it's like I'm a hypocrite when I complain about that because I treat better looking women yep. differently. If I hook up right. with a nice girl, I walk her downstairs, I get her a cab. Give if her she's 50 fat, bucks. Yeah, I'll pay her. If she's fat, <laughs> if she's fat, I yell fire and then close the door after she runs out. <laughs> See, there's a method to his madness. All right. Well, uh. That is the segment. I don't care if it's short. I don't really give a damn. We'll come back with something else. Let's face it, folks. There's also different standards among different cultures. Janine, for example, I've actually seen girls get, like, mauled by guys. And I go, what's up with that? She said, no, he's from Italy. He's from Europe. You know, like, that's okay because he's from Europe. Hey, I'm from Brooklyn. Can I grab your tit? You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't you think that different cultures allow women would be more allowing of a guy from Italy to touch them than a guy from uh, the show? I guess I just, I think, I think. It would show. depend on the person. It's a case by case basis. I don't think there'd be a lot of women that would be comfortable having, it, whether it be an Italian man or an English man, grabbing them or mauling them. If you're, if you're saying mauling, I don't think anybody's comfortable with that. Even like an Afghani woman has never been touched. Hey, 
These next two minutes well, of commercials. There it goes again. <laughs> the show is really finished. <laughs> These next two minutes of commercials should give you time to realize that we're doing a good thing.